feeling um, that you guys need some encouragement. We are talking about um, how to keep our fire lit for Jesus after we come back from something like camp. And um, I want you guys to understand first and foremost that it is normal to um, come off of that that mountain. Um, I want you guys to understand that when we're in the atmosphere like church, we are open and um, susceptible to receiving everything that God has for us and everything that he wants to download into us and everything that he wants to heal inside of us. So we are overwhelmed with the presence of the Lord and when we're in that type of atmosphere it's easy it's easy to feel like there is nothing that you can't face nothing that you can't get through nothing that can get in your way of um, what God has for you and so when we are at the place that we are now where we have come back to the normalcy of our everyday lives and our routines and school and activities and sports and all kinds of stuff um, we have to learn how to carry that same fire that same torch just like um, Uncle Sam was saying on Wednesday we have to be able to still carry that fire within us in the everyday normalcy of our lives and um I want you guys to understand that, um, as we've all said before, when all hell is breaking loose, it means you are walking in the path that God has for you. So be encouraged. Do not let that, like, um, like distress you. Don't let that be like, man, like, what's going on? Like, I'm doing all this and, and all this is happening. It's good. It's good that it's happening. I know it don't feel like it because trust me, I have been there. But um, you have to be encouraged to know that you are doing something right. The enemy does not like when you are walking in the will of God, when you, you're walking in the path that God has for you. He hates it. He wants to do everything in his power to distract you and to discourage you and to like disappoint you and so um, I want y'all to take heed to that and to know that's one of the enemy's plans and so um, I've just kind of felt and I've seen you guys getting tired and weary and your bodies um, y'all are going through injuries and um, you're learning how to walk in the identity that Christ has given you in the world and um, you're learning to walk that set apart lifestyle and so um, we have to stand firm in our faith and we have to hold on to the word of God and we have to hold on to his promises that he has given us and so um Sometimes we forget, sometimes we forget our Heavenly Father, we forget the words that He gives us, and it's not that we forget them, but it's just kind of out of sight, out of mind when we get into that routine, and so um, we have to remember, and that we have to fight with the Word of God. When we are feeling anxious, we have to remember that God says, do not be anxious for nothing, and when we feel afraid or we're fearful of stuff, we have to remember that God does not give us, give us the spirit of fear when we um, are feeling left out or we get, you know, mad about things. We have to understand that we, it's not the people that we're around. It, it's, we're, we're not waging against flesh and blood. We're waging against principalities and powers of darkness. So we got, you know, we, we have to remember that. You guys have to remember that. Um, I know that it's easier said than done, but I encourage you guys, do not give up. Do not um, be distracted 
do not feel like this is too much because trust me at the end of this you guys are growing and you're understanding and, and the more that you keep persevering because that is what God calls us to do like you guys I know you guys can persevere through the things that y'all are going through and by doing that you're stepping outside of yourself and you're trusting your heavenly father to meet you exactly where you're at and to meet every need according to his will in your life and everything else you're just laying it at his feet and saying you got it God I trust in you you're my homie you're my friend you're my you're my everything and so um don't let your fire be quenched remember what Ricky said he said that the enemy cannot quench the fire that you guys receive so um, remember remember when you feel distractions remember when you feel like you know you're don't have any friends at school or you feel kind of left out or remember um, remember remember that whenever you're going through whatever like know that you know that you know that God has got a plan and a purpose for you you guys have not only us as you know leaders and pastors of, of youth but you guys have you know the pastors of the church and you have each other you know your peers that are going through the same things that y'all are going through and you have your family you have so many people that love and support you guys and so I want y'all to be encouraged I want you to to hold on to God's word for your life hold on to his promises for your life and um, remember that you have the same power within you that rose Jesus from the grave you have the same power that that healed the sick and uh, the same power that that rose other people from the grave you have that same dudamus power within you so you guys have authority over your mind you guys have authority over what you see and over what you hear and I want you guys to really just press in this is the time to press in and not give up so be encouraged we love you and can't wait to see you Saturday bye y'all